Hi children, we are back with our chapter, third chapter, that is movement of the earth. Take the page number 20. Take the page number 20, chapter name is movement of the earth. Okay, we already know that earth is moving. Okay, we know that. What do you mean by movement? Movement meaning it is something changing, it is not a stationary thing. But earlier people, in ancient papers, they thought that it is as something, it is simply static one. It is not, not a moment is there. Clear? So, the earth is a stationary. In ancient times, people believed that earth is stationary. It does not possess any kind of moment. But a Polish astronomer, Polish, Polish meaning the person who comes from Poland, Polish astronomer, he find out that earth is moving, earth is moving and it has certain particular movements, okay. The name of the person is known as Nicholas Copernicus. Nicholas Copernicus is the person who first find out that earth spins on its axis, earth spins on its own axis. So, he is the first person who find out that earth spins on its axis and he uh, find out that moment of the earth is divided into two. First one is rotation and another one is revolution. So, he find out that the earth moment is divided into two sections that is rotation and revolution. So, he is the first person find out the earth is, that earth is moving, that is earth moves on, in, on its own axis. Understood? Clear children? Clear children? So, this is, we already know that this is, uh, it is a model of the earth. So, this is earth. Look at, it is the shape of the earth. So, always earth is moving. So, this is understood, this is mean firstly find out by this particular person. What is the name of the person children? Nicholas Copernicus. What is the name? Nicholas Copernicus. This is the first person. He is an uh, Polish astronomer. What do you mean by astronomer? The person who study about the stars, sky, satellite and all the things. Okay children? Clear children? So that is moment of earth. Now the first moment of the earth is rotation. The first moment of the earth is rotation. What do you mean by rotation? The moment of the earth on its own axis is called rotation. The moment of the earth on its own axis is known as rotation. We know that this is earth. We know that it is the axis. This is the axis. So in this axis the earth is moving. Likewise we can uh, hearly from here. If you uh, take a ball and put a needle inside it, then you can easily identify. So, this is the particular axis and earth is moving on its axis. Clear? So, this moment of the earth is known as what? Rotation. Clear? This moment of the earth is known as rotation. And always earth moves from west side to east side. Clear? Always earth is moving from west side to east side. Look at that. This is the earth. Suppose now this is the earth. Earth is moving. This is west side and this is east side. So it is moving from west to east side. Clear? That is also shown in the picture. Always earth is moving from west side to east side. And because of this rotation, we have days and night. We have days and nights. Because of the rotation, we have days and nights. And for rotation, the earth takes how much time? 24 hours. We all know that, is it? 24 hours and one day. 24 hours or one day for taking one spin. Clear children? So for rotation, the earth takes 24 hours or one day. Understood? Because of this, we have days and nights. And because of rotation only, we have the sun rises in the east, west, east side and the sun sets in the west side. 
layer because of the rotation only the sun rises in the east and the sun sets in the west side understood children what do you mean by rotation the one of the moment of the earth is known as rotation and the moment of the earth on its axis is called rotation and because of rotation we have days and nights and for 24 hours or one day we call for one rotation clear children then how the days and nights are happens we know that because of rotation nights and days are there now how it happen look at that due to spherical shape spherical meaning it's a sphere shape only one half of the earth receives light from the sun at a particular time and that part is known as that part has day and which part is away and that is darkness that has night clear children uh, for example the here as in that this this side is receiving uh, sunlight directly so this which part is receiving sunlight that part has day and the opposite side which has darkness that has night clear children so this is the which part getting more sunlight that part has day and which part is away from the sunlight that part has night for doing this we have to do one exam one activity that is given in the page number 21 okay the using globe and a torch you can easily identify that look at that the torch light we can assume it as a sunlight so the sunlight is directly hitting to the particular area so that area receives sunlight that area has day and which is away from the sunlight this area is away from the sunlight that area has darkness so that has night clear children so in this way we can use we can identify how the days and nights are happen clear so this is in this way we can easily identify how the days and nights we here also look which side you are getting more sunlight which side you are getting more sunlight this is the area clear so this area more sunlight which part of the earth receive that area is known as day and which is away from the sunlight that part is known as night that part has night time clear so day and night understood body how it happens in it, uh, how it happens because of the sunlight which part of it but every part it get the day and time day and night time it gets but how because the earth is moving so which all the parts is coming for example sun is fixed in a particular place but it is also moving. so at the time if it is moving like this which all places it comes nearby the sun that all areas receives day clear and they all and that is why we have day and night which all part which all part of the earth receives which all part is comes near by opposite direction of the sun so all the part that getting the sunlight so that area has day and opposite side has night clear children so it is easy if you also have the globe and the torch you can use it then it is easy for understanding day and night clear children is understood what do you mean by rotation and revolution rotation what is the meaning rotation the earth is spinning on its own axis okay children now take the textbook page number 20 here you have to do the get set do this fill the fill in the blank that is one minute is equal to how many seconds and one hour is equal to how many minutes one hour is equal to how many seconds all the things you have to do and also take the first paragraph fourth line then underline Nicholas Copernicus the fourth line the word is given Nicholas Copernicus underline the word Nicholas Copernicus then also write the rotation and revolution also underline or use highlighter and nearby Nicholas Copernicus you write the question who found the earth spins 
on its axis. Nearby, Nicola Copernicus write the question who found the earth spin on its axis. Then take the rotation full paragraph put in bracket and underline the terms 24 hours. Underline the term 24 hours west to east. 24 hours west to east underline. 24 hours meaning the third line 24 hours the word is given that underline the west to east also underline. Fifth line it is given. Then days and night put in bracket. Then and turn the page 21 this is let us do the activities given we have to do. Then check the point is also given find the answer. Okay children okay find the answer first one the earth moves around the dash so answer is the sun answer is first one sun what is the second one the dash is the movement of the earth on its axis what is that rotation correct so write the answer rotation then three and four also fine clear do i give Two, you have to find out. So read the chapter till where I completed today. This much. So read it three times and find the answer. Okay, children. Thank you.